the live fire Garuda Shield annual exercises began in 2009 as a bilateral military exercise involving the US and Indonesian military. Since 2022, with the involvement of more and more countries, it was dubbed Super Garuda Shield and is now one of the largest joint multinational exercises in the Indo-Pacific region. This exercise will be held for 14 days and will be attended by 17 countries. Six countries will send the troops and 11 countries will send observers. Among the countries involved in this year's military exercises, aside from Indonesia and the US, are Japan, Australia, Singapore and the United Kingdom. This is Super Garuda Shield. It's bigger than it was last year. But nations are coming because uh, of our ability to learn one another better. There is human and procedural interoperability that gets developed here that will carry us through competition, crisis, and God forbid, conflict. That's why it's important that we're here, that we might come to work better together, as Apong Lima said, to professionalize ourselves by learning from one another. The Indonesian military told VOA that the primary missions of the joint exercise is to enhance bilateral and multilateral cooperation in the region. But in the current tense climate in the Indo-Pacific region, and with the involvement of U.S. troops and allied nations, some analysts suggest such a massive undertaking is sending a message to China. It does raise a level of tension. Not unacceptably so, I think. It's already pretty high, so at the most it will make a small difference. I mean, in terms of if you're measuring difference in terms of how China feels about Indonesia generally, yes, a small difference. But if you measure it in terms of what China will do about it now or in the near term, no difference. Despite close security ties with the U.S., Indonesia, which is Southeast Asia's most populous nation, is not likely to choose sides in geopolitical tension in the region. Indonesia is a vital partner for anybody in the region. It's a country of nearly 300 million people. It's the biggest player economically and militarily in Southeast Asia. But it's not going to align in any camp. It operates the same as uh, Vietnam or India. It's going to cooperate with the Americans or the Japanese or the Chinese when their interests overlap. As a sign of Jakarta's pragmatism on the matter, Unlike Super Garuda Seal 2022, this year's exercises were held far away from the Natuna Sea, parts of which are disputed with China and will be held through September 13 on several coastal areas of East Java. Ahadian Utama, VOA News, East Java, Indonesia.